Hey guys, so my name is Nicole and today I will be I'm gonna be recording some clips that I went ahead and went to go film um, for this YouTube channel. So basically I went to go film um, some player some of middle schoolers um, playing and how they like do their their practices and all that stuff. And I went ahead and uh, filmed and interviewed um, some middle schoolers and I talked to the coaches. Um, and then I went to middle, and then I went to high school on what advice can they give to middle schoolers as they are going on through the high school, through their, uh, school years. And I feel like this, um, is going to be a good video. Um, I hope y'all enjoyed it. We're going to go ahead and get straight to the video. Um, yeah. If <laughs> oh, okay. Name. What position do you play? Uh, point guard and forward. Okay. Um, does being a part of a team help your learning ability, like your school work? Uh, yeah, because I have to pass the play, so I focus more. Uh, okay, and what are your grades like? Like, are they good? Yeah, they're, they're okay. And do you like being part of a team or no? Yeah? But what motivates you to be a part of a team? You love it? Yeah. What, how old were you whenever you started playing? This year. What's your name? Um, Sebastian. What uh, position do you play? Smartphone. And how does being a part of a team affect your school um, schoolwork and school and your learning abilities? I don't get as much time to do my homework, so it makes it harder. Why? Because I don't get to do my homework anymore. So why? Like you don't like you don't manage your time or what? Oh, uh, and then after you practice, what do you do? I stretch and then I go sleep. Wait, what? Stretch. Oh, you stretch. Okay, so on basketball or more in school? Basketball. My name is Anthony San Miguel. And what and what position do you play? I'm a center. Do you do you feel like schoolwork is important for to be able to play a sports? Yeah. Why? Yes. Okay. Even if sports doesn't work out in college, you can pursue another thing. Yeah. Okay. And then, what motivates you to play, to be at every practice and to be in, and to be in school every day? So I can get better and get good grades. Okay. And do you feel like um, you you know how UIL put this uh, no pass no play? Is it important? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. All right. Hey guys. So I interviewed some football players at uh, Raiders. And I felt like I got some really good feedback from them and some funny ones. I know there's one funny one on there. Um, but yeah, I hope y'all enjoy it. Hello, my name is Marcus Lindon and I'm a junior for PSA North. What advice can you give middle school students who are struggling in school? Uh, to stop being lazy and to focus on the work and focus on yourself. Don't even worry about what things that are coming outside of you. Just worry about things that are coming inside of you. Hi, my name is Aiden. I'm, 11th, I'm in 11th grade and I go to PSJ North. What motivates you to keep up your grades and keep showing up to practice? Um, to keep, because my future is important and I need to get a good job to live a, a fun life. Needed to be able to play? I don't, but school takes you a long uh, way in life, so go to school. Hi, my name is Kenny Campa from PSJ North. I'm a senior. What advice can you give middle school students who are struggling in school? You gotta stop being an elbows on and get on your shit, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> what motivates you to keep up your grades and keep showing up to practice? Uh, nothing really. Um, I don't even play, so it's like there's, there's no point. But, uh, you know, I still do it because of my teammates. It's just funny. Do you feel like school is needed to be able to play? Um, technically not really because uh, geometry is not going to really help me tackle the quarterback or tackle the running back or anything like that. You know, it's not going to help Marcus, uh, you know, Masa 6-4 corner. So it's like, no, you don't really need school, you know. E equals MC square is not going to help him, you know, Masa corner. So, no, it's not really. <laughs> hey, guys. So, um, this coach that I'm going to be interviewing, his name is Coach Avalado. He's from uh, Vanguard Far. And I asked him three questions, and he gave me some really good ones, so I hope y'all enjoyed. All right, so if I see one of my players struggling academically, 
Um, I definitely want to get involved and start talking to the teachers. Maybe there's some type of tutoring or something outside of the classroom that they can attend. Um, I will try to work something out with the teachers to make sure that the student is uh, attending those sessions, maybe like a sign-in sheet or something of that sort. Um, and also, of course, if it means that the student has to miss practice or sit out a game in order for them to catch up on their work, I definitely will do that as well. Um, I think that the most important thing as a coach when you're working with your team is being able to read your players. Um, not only facial expressions, but body language as well. Um, obviously, if they talk to you verbally and they tell you something's wrong, you have to be able to pick that up and acknowledge it and work around that, right? Um, maybe have something to say uh, whenever you see a player is frustrated, right? Maybe a joke or something that will kind of get them out of that hump. Um, at the end of the day, everybody has to make sure that the coaches have to make sure that the players are all working together in unison. And the only way that that works is if everybody's mental ability is in a well place. So I think that making sure that the kids are good, talking to them, maybe being able to read them and observing them is one of the main things that's going to help you work with your team very well. Okay, hey guys, so we are at um, the girls' uh, basketball game, and we're getting, I'm going to record some Alrighty, so um, th the girls lost bad, but it's okay. Um, just seeing them as a team working together was just the best video ever. Um, and then afterwards, we went ahead and went to Chick-fil-A as a team. We were talking, as you see right here, we were talking. <laughs> Alright, you guys, so that is the end of the video i hope y'all enjoyed it and don't forget to like and subscribe to it um i hope this video gave you some motivation as you keep on going on through your high school your college careers bye guys have a good one